Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite professional wig head here, back again with another wig review slash install video. I actually forgot to record an intro for today's video, so we're going with a voiceover today. And the wig we're going to be installing is from Sensationelle's What Lace Collection. This is Brielle. But first, if you're new here, click that subscribe button to join the fam. We'd love to have you, and let's start melting this lace. So I'm starting off with my Got To Be Glue Free Spray and I'm just gonna spray this around the perimeter of my hairline and a little bit in front of that. I know you guys have probably seen lace melting videos before so this is nothing new. And then I'm going to use my blow dryer on cool. Y'all, my eyes kept watering so it does, it looks like it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. My eyes are just watering. Um, I'm just going to use that on cool until it dries down. And you really wanna make sure it's dried all the way down completely before you start cutting off the excess wig cap, which is what I'm doing right now. So you really just wanna take your time here and cut all of that excess off. Um, then I'm going back in and trimming the jagged edges so the cap will be a little bit more seamless. Now I'm gonna take the Got To Be Glued Spiking Glue um, and I'm gonna use that as like an additional adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead and just like lay down um, wherever the edges of the cap seem like they're a little bit more visible. So this does two things. So first, it kind of conceals that line from the wig cap and then second, it adds another layer of security. I feel like this um, gel to me is like ghost bond. Like if I add this together with my free spray, um, it really adheres and my wigs last way longer um, if I install it like this. So I'm gonna blow dry that as well and I'm just gonna tap and pat down um, so it doesn't leave too much residue. Now after that's dried down, I'm gonna go in with my loose setting powder and it's pretty much um, the same shade um, of the wig cap, a little bit lighter than my skin complexion, but I really want to kind of hide those lines in the wig cap, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna set this powder all around and on top of where I laid that, um, that got to be glued spray and the gel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one more layer of the Got To Be Glued Free Spray, and this is just so that the wig actually has something to adhere to. So the first layer was to get my wig cap to stay affixed to my forehead, and then the second layer of the glue was to get the wig cap to lay completely flat. This last layer is to make sure the, the wig has something to stick to. So here is Brielle. This unit has two combs up near the temple, one comb in the back, and it does have adjustable straps. It also has free parting lace. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply her. And what I like to do is pull my wig forward as much as possible. And then if I need to adjust and go back and move it based on where my wig cap lays, then I can do that. But the further forward I pull her, the more wiggle room I have. So I don't have to worry about um, having my wig be too far back and having my wig cap visible. If I pull it forward as much as I can, I can always go back and customize and pluck if I need to. So here I have finally got the unit secured. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my edge control and a spoolie, and I'm just going to shape out my baby hairs. This unit does come with baby hairs and they're actually um, pretty good. They're not too long. I didn't have to cut them. Um, what I'm really doing now is just making sure not only do I separate them and pull them out, but also um, shaping them and kind of getting them um, in the best way where I can kind of conceal the lace like the edges of the lace on the side. So that's just what I'm doing here. Final thoughts on this unit. Um, Sensational. Hey girl, um, we love you here on the channel. You have a lot of bangers. We've had our ups and our downs. And unfortunately for Brielle, I feel like she's gonna have to be a down. Um, I do really like the amount of parting space that I'm given. 
I really, really like the baby hairs. I think that it's really easy to install. Um, I will say that the knots are like hella big on this unit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or if you saw it while I was installing, but I feel like the knots are like just extra. Like they're not like regular knot holes. They're like bullet holes or something like that in my head. Like I don't know. I just I just feel like they're extra visible um, despite using foundation, powder, concealer, um, scotch tape, whatever I could find, like nothing nothing was concealing them so that's like a con for me um homegirl has been shedding and tangling since i took her out the pack like i unboxed her cut the lace off and then the rest of the install i did on camera i have never worn this unit before this is my first time wearing her i've only worn her for about mm, six hours and i cannot wait to take her off even though i secured her all the way down with got to be glued and everything else you can find um this unit will not stop tangling like I can't get through like I can't get through the ends without it tangling and this is every single time and then when I do get through the ends I get tons of shedding tons of shedding again the shedding the tangling is a no-go for me especially at such a high price point this unit retails for about sixty dollars everywhere that I search and for that high of a price point I don't expect for her to be shedding or tangling day one so those are definitely big 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 cons for me like I'm I'm the type of girl where I can take one or the other like you can be a little bit of a shedder or you can tangle a little bit at the nape you can't do both um, you can't have your cake and eat it too this is not BK you cannot have it your way um, what you're not gonna do is sell me so y'all, my camera died, but what I was saying was, what you're not gonna do is sell me a Kanikalon fiber wig for $60 and it continues to tangle and shed. I just don't think that this, the quality of the unit is worth the price point. I do really like the hairline. I love how it's executed. Um, you don't have to plug. It's very easy to apply. There's not a lot of shine with this unit. Those are my pros, but the cons, very much outweigh the pros on this one what lace usually um that collection is a bop but this time it was a full stop okay um so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section give this video a like check out my other videos i recently did a um half wig i did four um different try-ons of different half wigs that i love so check that out also check out my um, amazon wig try on haul if you guys haven't yet give this video a like don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one mm. Oh,